guys welcome back to my channel and today we are filming this look for you guys it is prom inspired this is the prom season amongst all the exam madness you guys have something to actually look forward to it is my sister's prom this year oh my lord that makes me feel so old and it was my prom four years ago and literally feels like it was yesterday i um wore makeup for the first time when it was my prom for the first time and it was an experience I have to say but today we are doing this look I wanted to go something a bit nude and a bit neutral but then the pink came out and then this duochrome gold came out and the eyelashes came out so this is what we got and do you know what I'm actually digging it I can't stop staring at myself just saying I can't stop staring but yeah, and I'm gonna skew you guys a little bit closer and we'll get straight into this tutorial. Right, so you can probably tell I have changed a few um, skin tones. No, I have changed a few um, foundation shades from the last time. So I am gonna have to mix a few of my foundations in. Right, so as you can see, brows are on, forehead's done. Mainly just because, as you know, I can't do all of that after I've done my makeup so it's probably a bit too much base but we're going in with the P. Louise base warming it up on my finger and then putting it all over my lid and then I'm just gonna go in my sponge and just blend it all in a little bit more so the first shade I'm gonna go into is the shade pillow is this shade here from the Morphe 35B palette. I'm literally just taking it on a fluffy brush and gonna blend it into the crease so we get that nude pink tone going. And then I'm gonna go in with the shade here which is called Watermelon and I'm literally just gonna put it a little bit below the little one. Right, so I've just built those colours up a little bit more and we've got this going on right now. But I want it to put something out, so I'm gonna go in with this shade here from the Makeup Geek and I think this is Mango Tango. Yeah, I'm going in with Mango Tango. And I'm just gonna do the same thing really, load up the brush and blend it in that area. So now that we have our kind of like transition tone going on, I want to start um, deepening my outer corner. So to do that, I'm taking this uh, flat type of fluffy brush. I don't, I don't even know what, it's, what it is. And I'm gonna take the shade Martini from the P. Louise palette. I'm trying to say that in that foot. And then I'm literally just gonna place it on the outer edge here. start to run it blend it through the crease a little it's up to you if you want to wing this look out completely up to you but the wing suits my eye shape a lot more than if it was um, just rounded then just take that same brush that we used for the crease colors to blend out the edges and if you need to go back in with that first shade pillow to help you blend it out And then to further deepen this, I'm taking the shade Bitten by Makeup Geek as well. That is literally my favourite burgundy colour ever. And what I'm going to do, I've used all of the martini shade on this side. I'm going to flip the brush over and I'm going to use that side for Bitten. Just taking Mango Tango and then I'm just blending out the edges with that. So 
So now I'm going in with the shade Sissy from the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm literally going to just pop it all over here. And to do that, I am going to take this paintbrush and I'm going to spray it with a little bit of Max Fix Plus. Literally just pile it all on. Um, but what in the brush? You can kind of give it the cut crease feel. Which is, if you're in a rush, you don't have time to do a cut crease. There you go. I'm going in with Makeup Geek Cinderella, and I'm gonna put that on top. See if that does anything. Um, oh, this is really not how the look in my head was going. But do you know what? I'm digging it too. I think I want to tone down the pinkiness in the outer edge. So I'm just gonna. A bit more of that pillow directly on that blending brush just put it straight there i'm going to take my collection of fast stroke eyeliner i know shock there's no maybelline today and i'm just gonna start panning out the wing i like to kind of rub the excess of the brush on the side and then get into it so start off with my Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation but I'm only going to go with a little bit because my skin tone has changed so much I just don't match anything anymore so we're just going to put that more in the centre of the face and learn whatever is left out because it matches my cheeks perfectly still which is so annoying and then I'm gonna go in with my Supercover HD Makeup ultimate foundation and this is in the shade 39 this is what i used to wear but it just it was too dark for me and then normally it comes with a hydrate spray but i don't have any of that left so i'm just gonna spray my brush no, spray my brush with some fix plus and then dunk it in and just go ham and sponge and press it all in and before we do anything else, I'm just going to put on some lip balm. Oh, everybody's outside enjoying the sunshine. I'm in here. Oh, trusty collection. I don't know what the hell is going on with mine, but can you see, like, how weird it is? I don't even know how that happened. My other one didn't do this. I'm only going to put a little bit here because I'm so brown now. This concealer does not really suit my skin anymore but it's fine make it work and i'm just gonna i'm gonna blend that out with our beauty sponge and then i'm gonna take some laura mercier translucent setting powder and just lightly press it underneath not too much Oh, I forgot how nice this was. Oh, this is gonna make me want to buy a new one. Cool. And then set the rest of my face. I'm going in with the next no filter powder, and I'm just gonna take that on the bottom end of my sponge and just press it everywhere else. Gonna kick off any of that excess powder that was underneath my eyes. Oh my god, I actually forgot how nice this was. So to, I'm not really after the contoured look, I want a bronze. So we're just going to go in with the NYX contour palette and take the shade tan, as per usual. And bronze everything. Just, just go messy. 
tend to do this a lot. I tend to go on the highlighter first and then I go on the blusher so it helps it blend out a little bit more. But because I really want to glow, I'm going to go in with this Kate blush here and use that as my highlighter first. And then I'm just going in with this highlighter from the NYX palette. Cupid's bow, you know, we gotta go low. And I'm gonna take a little bit above my brow. Is that too much glow? I don't think so. Hey, that rhymed. And then, we are now going in with the NYX Sweet Cheeks palette. Starting off with this one here, but I always just end up going with the same two. We'll see. I'm just gonna... Yeah, see, that's just... No. So I'm gonna do the same on the other side, and then just go in. No. We're just gonna go in with the orange one here, but first I'm just gonna try and blend all of that away. Go with the orange. And then, do you know, I feel like more highlighter. I don't know why, I'm in a glowy mood. So we're gonna go with the, the goldeny one that's in that Sweet Cheeks palette gonna spray my face just to kind of set and meld all the powders together mm. the most refreshing thing to do after you've done your makeup in the whole world like, ever all right now time for the lily lashes we are just gonna go straight in with the bitten and then we'll blend that out with some Mango Tango. So we're getting bitten back on this brush, but I'm just getting it on the very tip here. And then I'm literally, I've just used two brush, three brushes this whole video, but I'm gonna take this fluffy brush again and I'm gonna dip it into Mango Tango. I'm gonna pinch it so it becomes like flat like that. And then just blend the rest of that out. I'm gonna take Beam, which is the second one across here from the Jack and Kill palette. And we are gonna make an Incarnate pop. Why did I just go Northern then? Incarnates. <laughs> And literally these two shades are the best for highlighting the inner corner. They are a thing. And then on the brow bone. We're going in with our Dow lashes in the shade 152. Just some at Miskier right now. And then lip. I don't know what to do from the lip. I think we're just gonna get nude. Oh my god, I need to wear these eyelashes more often in my life. I always go over dramatic with the blush and then it tends to disappear. So now I'm just gonna go quickly back in with the orange. Probably think of what? Too much blush, but trust me, honey, in those pictures, you just won't see it. I'm gonna add a little bit of gold glitter into the inner corner, nothing too crazy. And I am taking the collection Glam Crystals uh, Glitter Liner in the shade Funk 3. I'm going in with Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Nude Thrill. That's it guys, this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed watching my video today. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe on all of that good stuff. Show me guys what you have decided to do for prom. 
send me a picture i want to see what all you beautiful people out there are wearing what does your dress look like what shoes have you got have you got a date i don't have a date so it's okay you don't need one but yeah i would absolutely love to see those and thank you guys for watching and i will see you in my next video